My name is Hong Ching. I'm a faculty at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. My talk is make student thought process visible through videos. I have been requiring students to screencast their homeworks and coding project in many courses that I have taught. This student produced video I called student-led videos. Many of them are on YouTube. I have been using video in my own teaching for a long time. On the left is my own video with slides and a live coding exercise. But my video is not pers persuasive to the student. A student will say, you have been doing this for a long time. But on the right, that's the student video with live coding and explanation and a running results. I found the student video are much more persuasive and it can motivate a student when they see one of their own can do this. I found the student video can also facilitate tutoring. In this case, a student have a problem to run its code. I look at the video, find out its problem, highlight a screenshot, and send it back to the student. In this case, the student is having some Windows file access problem. I look at the video, tell the student what to do, and it's an easy fix. It may not be if this is an email exchange. The student video can also help students boost their own confidence and self-validate their career goals. In this case, a student used a Python notebook, apply deep learning to classify frog calls for species identification. This student is currently pursuing a PhD in a large research university. There are some hyperlinks for sample student video deep learning, bucket sorting, pedigree analysis, data analysis, and high-performance computing practices. In my own experiences, video can show student thought process. Video can help students self-validate themselves, career goals, cap potentials. Video can ha help students develop their professional portfolio, graduate school application. Video also fun. Some minus side of this, squeezing can be uh, time consuming. High quality video also is time consuming. And for STEM faculty, the artistic part is particularly challenging. I like to argue video education in data science is a challenge and opportunity, a opportunity. It is effective to engage a student. In these days, it also saves life, literally. Finally, I'd like to thank NSF for funding many of the video educational efforts. My uh, colleagues and collaborators from Tuskegee, Spelman, Chattanooga, and West Virginia University, and especially CUBE for their support. Thank you.